How you doing ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to MechWarrior Online with Scout. Today we're going to continue looking at the various Marauder mechs that have been released into the game recently. Today we're looking at the Bounty Hunter 2, the hero mech for the Marauder chassis. Now if we go into the mech lab, choose select mech, take a look at the difference between the 3R and the Bounty Hunter, you can see that primarily the difference is in speed and kind of health, if you will. The acceleration and deceleration rate on the Bounty Hunter is higher, but the turn rate and the torso twist rates are a little bit lower. Conversely, the 3R has higher bonuses to the internal structure pretty much across the mech. The Bounty Hunter does have bonuses, as you see here, but they're smaller. And additionally, the weapons perks are a little bit different. The 3R you'll note there has bonuses to the ballistic range and velocity, as well as some heat generation compensation in the form of a minus 5% heat generation, and then PPC quirks to make the PPCs more effective. Whereas the Bounty Hunter doesn't have all that. It's got the heat generation, the heat efficiency bonus, but then its bonuses are pretty generalized. Uh, plus 10% energy range, and then another plus 10% to medium laser specifically. So it kind of favors more medium lasers, which makes sense because you'll note the hard points on the Bounty Hunter 2 are only 1 ballistic and 7 energy, as opposed to the 3 and 4 mix on the Marauder 3R. So that's kind of the differences between the chassis there. In terms of loadout, I've modified mine a little bit. I upgraded the XL225 to a 295. I actually pulled that straight out of my Cataphract 3D. I've gone with 3.5 tons of Gauss ammo. Obviously, I kept the jump jets because I like the flexibility that adds. Kept the three medium lasers. I downgraded the ER PPCs to PPCs just because I did not like the uh, ridiculous heat that you get from firing two ER PPCs at once. I wanted to be able to get off maybe even three shots without having to overheat. And this is kind of the way that I generally run it. Like I said, very similar to my Marauder 3R build. It's kind of just a hopped up version of it, although you do make a significant trade-off because you pick up an XL engine. And that obviously decreases your survivability because this Gauss rifle is very likely to explode and take out the XL engine. Which, by the way, is why I don't have cases, why I went with another half ton of ammunition. Just because if the Gauss rifle explodes, it's more than likely going to take the torso off. You're going to be dead anyway, so I didn't really see the need for case. There are a couple of tweaks you could make to this build if you really wanted to. You could probably ditch a ton of Gauss ammo, move the medium laser into the arm, and then add another medium laser to the other arm, give you a little more close-range firepower, something that I have considered. Very rarely do I go through all my Gauss ammo. I, you know, little tweaks here and there that you could make, but this is how I run it, and I enjoy it. I've got a second build for the Bounty Hunter 2 that I do use when I'm kind of in try-hard mode or I just feel like doing something different. So uh, I'll show you guys that right quick and then we'll get into the gameplay. So what we're looking at here is my alternate build for the Bounty Hunter 2. I've gone to a standard 300 for better survivability. I've pulled the AC-10 in favor of an AC-20 with 3 tons of ammo. Got case just in case because why not? What else are you going to do with a half ton? The protection is probably a little bit better than a small laser. Jump jets remain. Added a bit of maneuverability and flexibility. And we've basically gone to a battery of medium lasers. Six in total, three in each arm to provide the rest of the firepower. This build really kind of plays to the strengths of the Bounty Hunter 2's quirks more than the stock Bounty Hunter build. It's got a bigger punch with slightly less heat efficiency. All in all, I enjoy it. It's kind of a little more meta, a little more playing uh, to the min-max possibilities of the mech, but it's still a pretty good build, and I have had some luck with it. It's something that I go to when I'm just kind of tired of dealing with PPCs and I just want to kind of do something entirely different with my Marauder. So let's take a look at how these two builds pan out. So Canyon Network in the Bounty Hunter 2. A lot of people kind of enjoyed, I noticed, the little Marauder 5D trivia that I did in the last video, excuse me. So if you think that's interesting, the Bounty Hunter obviously has a very colorful history now first of all the bounty hunter what you have to understand is not a specific person it's actually a persona several people have been the bounty hunter 
throughout the history of Battletech. I think it starts in about um, 3017, 3016 maybe, with uh, Wolf's Dragoons actually. The bounty hunter, as I understand it, was actually working with Wolf's Dragoons and he was responsible for doing a reconnaissance of a canyon, appropriately enough, for a then lieutenant, Natasha Kerensky. And as the story goes, he told her, Lance, that the valley was clear of enemy and it was not and she and her lance got cut to ribbons she was forced to object and abandon her mech in order to survive and her mech oddly enough so the story goes was a marauder which the bounty hunter then salvaged and used as his mech that's how he got to be associated with a marauder despite the fact that he actually piloted several mechs at different times in history and that led to the rivalry between the bounty hunter. I'm trying to get some snipes here. Acquired. Yeah. Unbelievable. Between the bounty hunter and Natasha Kerensky. Interesting enough, people also say that at the time the bounty hunter was piloting a Warhammer and that later became Natasha Kerensky's mech. I don't know how true that is or not. Um, there's also an interesting reason. There are actually two bounty hunter mechs. Um, when he first piloted it back in the early days, say the 3025 era, he modified the Marauder. I can't believe I missed that. Cross rifle hit though. Let's see if I can get this guy. Bing! Man, I just cannot get these PPCs to hit. Anyway, when he first piloted the Marauder, the Bounty Hunter at the time used a very interesting loadout. Three PPCs and then a four to six. I can't remember exactly how many medium lasers. Yeah, hello, squirrel. And the big thing about the Marauder back then, the Bounty Hunter's Marauder anyway, was it had double heat sinks, which made it... As you can imagine, three PPCs, a bunch of medium lasers, no XL engine, and double heat sinks back in, oh what, call it 3025 era, level one technology, that'd be pretty damn deadly. And then, I want to say the exact date is 3044, is when he updated to the Bounty Hunter 2. Obviously, the original Bounty Hunter, he had uh, downgraded that standard engine to a 225 made it slower 353 in tabletop turns to get all that tonnage and the bounty hunter too I'm gonna kill this guy kept it a 353 but it went to a 225 XL and the loadout that you see on the stock bounty hunter 2 is true to the tabletop so quite an upgrade Let's see if I can secure this kill Come on, just die already. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I could get that last salvo off, not overheat. So yeah, that's kind of the abbreviated version of the history of the bounty hunter and the mech and why this thing is called the bounty hunter too. Let's see if I can find there he is. Die! Oh, I thought that was gonna kill him. Oh he's still not dead. Die already. There we go. Finally able to secure the kill on that timber wolf. And built this target mech for range and somehow I always end up at point blank. And then when I get in the alternate build, I end up being stuck on Alpine at long range. Go figure. Acquired. That's a dire wolf. We need to get out of this canyon. This is why we love jump jets. Oh shit, I didn't make it. Come on. New target acquired. Oh my god. Up. Oh. Hit him with the Gauss rifle at least. And I'm still stuck. This is bullshit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is bad. Kill the hunchback. Kill the hunchback. Ah, uh, Gauss rifle, come on. Die. There we go. Got our second kill. And can we get this catapult? No. That did not go well. We still got a good amount of damage in two kills though, so... 
Yeah, I don't. It look, yeah, look at the score. The team melted. I was gonna say when I first started towards that hill, I had a little backup, and all of a sudden I'm surrounded and there's nobody near me. That that would be why the <laughs> everybody else apparently went down like high school cheerleaders on prom night. Fantastic. <laughs> Now we get to watch the squirrel run for a little while. Yeah, that's not going to end well for you, buddy. Jump straight up in the air. You're much harder to hit that way. Not. So, yeah. So ends our first game in the Bounty Hunter 2. Eh. 208,000 C bills, 1,800 experience. I'm pretty happy with my performance. I uh, wish I had a little bit more support for the from the team, but uh, yeah, I think it's still a decent game for me. Let's take out the uh, AC21 and see how that does. What did I tell you? Take out the AC20, you end up on Tourmaline Desert or Alpine. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Unbelievable. All systems nominal. So yeah. Gonna have to be careful here. And make sure that we don't get picked apart at range. I think we'll just uh, try to move with our lance as much as I can wait for uh, you know there's always kind of that period of Target sniping and slinging energy and Gauss rifle and LRMs at long range we're just gonna try and sit that out eventually they will close the distance and that's when we'll try to swoop in and see if we can't get some damage done it reminds me a little bit of the old multiplayer battle tech 3025 days you remember there used to be uh, that was Lance on Lance, so. New target. And the terrain was a little more open, a little less obstructed. So you always ended there this, <laughs> this weird period, like a, a stare down, where all four mechs would be online facing the other four mechs, and you all knew that the first guy that crossed, what was it, like 1,100 meters or something like that, was going to get pounded with LRM, so nobody wanted to cross that line. <laughs> And you, the four of you, the eight of you, just stared at each other across the open space until somebody finally worked up the nerve to go, and then there'd be the barrage of missiles, and then the mad charge. It was like, a, I feel like this kind of replicates that in some ways, these larger maps. New target acquired. What do we got here? Nothing much. Target Let's see. Acquired. Back down or go forward, back down or go forward. What should I do? I think I'm gonna go forward while I have the chance. Ow. Yep. Definitely going forward while I have the chance. New target acquired. <laughs> that was more shoot this way than trying to actually hit him with medium lasers. Acquired. I shall use my medium lasers as a laser pointer. Oh, well, see, it worked. Looks like yeah can't get the torso to go up any higher. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this position. Yeah, I can't get the AC-20 up high enough to make this work. I'm going to have to go back this way. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Come on, somebody blunder out into the open in front of us where I can get some decent damage in. Target. Ow. Fantastic. Not only was that a wild AC-20 shot, target. the okay. laser skipped off the ground. Maybe we can get around to this guy. Get out of the way! Hello! I can't believe I missed. And once again, laser skipping the ground. Take that. That made him unhappy, I think back up here. That guy's got friends. We don't really want to go that way. Even if I do win, I'll be so chewed up after that that I won't be able to get anything else done. We can get 
like to gun up over this rise here, maybe? I was gonna stop and work that little ridge there, but it doesn't look like there's anybody here. Oh, hello. Take that, and that, and that. He did not like that. Let's see if I can work this line here. Take that. Hello, Mr. Marauder. How are you? Oh my god! Skip right over the top of him. Who's shooting me in the back? Where did you come from? Oh, look out. Sorry, dude. Stop shooting me. I think we're taking more friendly damage, or as much friendly damage as we are damage from the enemy. Oh, there we go. I think that hit him in the arm. Take that. I was kind of hoping that would kill him. New target acquired. That's not. Oops. Almost got that guy in the back. Oh, it did kill him. Yay. Hello. Booyah. Die. Oh, I thought I was going to get that kill. Guess not. Boom! Take that. And that. Now, who do you think you're messing with, huh? Use my coolant flush. Booyah! There we go. Able to get a second kill there at the end. So yeah, as you can see, it packs a lot of punch, but it heats up pretty quickly as well. 418 points of damage, 2 kills, 6 assists. Not earth shattering, but not that bad. We'll take that. Did pretty well, even in the context of the rest of the team. So yeah, pretty uh, standard game for this build. Uh, let's go back to the uh, more normal Bounty Hunter build and see if we can get one more good game. HPG Station. Reactor online. We like this. Sensors online. Weapons online. Open space, so it's nice and cool. Should be some opportunities for sniping, especially right at the beginning. So, let's see if we can get a good game. We're going to use our advanced zoom as we come in through here. See if we can get some long range shots on the left here as people move through. That's unfortunate. It looks like the light lance spawned directly across from us. Sometimes it'll be the assault or the heavy lance. They're slower moving, so you can get some better shots across here. There's somebody. Target acquired. Maybe? Uh oh. Get out of the way, Enforcer. There's somebody else over there as well. Maybe if I can ride this kind of high lip over here to the left, maybe I can get some shots this way. Oh, Timberwolf. Ah, he dropped down just as those PPC bolts got to him. Oh, bad luck. Not a lot of sniping going on here. Surprised. Normally there's at least one or two guys hanging out trying to trade shots here. I thought I saw somebody. Kind of thinking about pushing, but I think it's time to go back and get with the rest of the team. I don't think this is going to pan out. Yeah, maybe we go this way. We can get a shot at this uh, storm crow, maybe. Link back up with everybody. Are you going to come up? Come up. Come up. <laughs> Damn, you got knocked up. Nah, it's blind ass luck, really. Still, we'll take it. I thought I saw somebody up here. Yep. Target Atlas. Fire. Oh my god. Ugh. Our mounted weapons are too low, and I misclicked the Gauss rifle, so it was about a half second late getting there. And, yep. Uh huh. That's why we started moving this way. I figured we were going to get flanked. 
I don't even care who shot me. I just want to get back over here before friends of his show up. Let's see if we can link up with the rest of the company over here. Get to this far side. Get safe. And then if we have to, we'll turn around. I'm thinking about going up. Looks like the rest of the team is on my left on the platform. I don't like being up here. I feel exposed and the arm mounted weapons are quirky and hard to hit with. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not going to the ledge. Oh my god, hello. Oh, see? I'm hit with the Gauss rifle though. Having that high ballistic mount is pretty nice. Got one of the PBCs dead anyway. That probably hurt him a lot. Yeah. Torso's almost gone. Ah. Gauss rifle hit, so that's not healthy for that blackjack. Look out, get out of the way. Oh, couldn't tell if those hit or not. It was close. That Gauss rifle definitely hit, though. Looks like we got another hit. Back out again. That's not going to work. Arms are too low. Ah! I can't believe that miss. Ouch. Ouch. Take that. Yeah, I don't like this spot. It, it's, I keep hitting that little bump there. PVCs keep hitting the ledge. I'll just, I'll just go around. I don't like that. I don't think I gave as good as I got in that spot. Oh, hello. No! Ah! Can't believe that missed. Looks like he's got a similar setup to my alternate build for the bounty hunter. Fuel at 25%. Yeah. Fuel at we got seven medium lasers though. Let's see if we can get him behind him. I want to try to maintain some space here so I can use my PPCs, but I'll take that. I'd rather shoot his other torso, but if he's not going to look at me, I will definitely stand here and hammer him. Uh, I think his AC20s just went down. See if we can open up the distance, get our PPCs in play. Take that. Yeah, his AC-20 was down. I'm not sure if somebody knocked it out just there when he shut down or if it, but... This guy's in a lot of trouble. Let's see if we can secure the kill. Another hit there. Come on, just gotta be patient. Time the Gauss rifle shots. Not miss. Yep, there goes his other torso. Now he's only got a medium laser. Should be fine here. He's gotta chew through his center torso now. Ow move up, see if we can put the wall between me and whoever just shot me in the back. Oh, fantastic. A vulture. Come on, die. There we go. Let's see if we can kill this mad dog. Oh, his torso is almost gone. There we go. That helps. Let's see if we can get his other torso now. I think I can take this guy. Come on. Just keep walking. Boom. There we go. Got our third kill. Just got to stay calm and time your Gauss rifle shots, you jerk. Get down. Oh shit, he did get down. Let me go over here and see if I can get a fourth kill. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh. That was a pretty decent game, if I do say so myself. Kind of funny. I still ended up at point blank range. Yeah, there you go. 629 points of damage, 4 kills, and 3 assists. We will take that. So yeah, I'm going to call that a wrap, folks. There's a look at the Bounty Hunter. Two possible builds you could choose from. Either one works pretty well. I think really whether or not this mech worth it. It depends on your financial situation. If you got a couple bucks to spend, sure. I don't think you'll regret it. If not, hey, don't buy it. Either way, I am still having a lot of fun with the Marauder. So stay tuned. We'll be covering the 5M next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.